Hi there everyone and welcome to our School Rune Showcase. Um, I am back from my two weeks break or so of uh, doing the daily videos. I should be doing daily videos again. And uh, so this one is about the new Skill Runes, the new Shadow Ones uh, with the silence effect. And then uh, tomorrow is going to be uh, skill, all the Skill Runes on the advanced skills. Uh, I haven't covered them yet and I wanted to go through them all. Um, they're fairly simple so I should be able to get through all, all in one video. But anyway, let's talk about these ones. Um, so the wizard one is actually one I'm not going to bother showing. There's just literally no point showing it um, because it's almost an exact copy of a previous skill rune uh, called Shadowburn. And actually the two of them take exactly the same experience to, to level up. Um, it's uh, starting at 1050, so that's uh, 172,500 experience. Yep. Um, 172,000 experience to level up. Exactly the same requirements. The damage output is almost identical. They both got 89% shadow, and the new one just has slightly more static damage. Um, so in terms of actually showing it and how it works and the damage and all that stuff, it's exactly the same as before. Um, but, uh, oh, actually... Uh, no, okay, sorry. Just got confused there, because if you look at the wording, it says, uh, in the original one, it says, strike an enemy with magic, dealing damage, plus blah, blah, blah shadow. The new one says, strike an enemy with dark magic, dealing with... So I thought, wait a second, did the base damage do shadow? <laughs> anyway, um, so the main difference about this one is actually the silence effect for PvP. That's the only difference. And silence is a really interesting new status effect. They haven't explained it yet, but the way it works is uh, if you inflict uh, silence on an enemy, then they can't use skills for the time which they're affected by it. Now, that's kind of a lesser stun, because stun is they can't use skills or move, or use basic attacks, um, or, or use consumables even. Um, so yeah, it's a less less powerful version of stun, but the main thing about it is you can sl uh, silence someone when they're in stun immunity. So I don't know if this works uh, like when they have angelic form on, or like, um, uh, I'm trying to think when else they have stun immunity. But anyway, when I think it works, uh, when it's good to do it, is if you've just stunned them, they've come out of their stun, and then you silence them, because they normally have 5 seconds uh, of stun immunity before they can be stunned again. But actually in that time you can silence them instead. So, use it in combination with a stun skill, and silence is really awesome. Uh, that's that's the only use I see for the screw in. I'm a bit disappointed that it doesn't have more damage than something, because um, I thought the whole point of changing screw in so they work like this is that they kind of make them slightly more powerful each time. So like Radiant Knight's 95% Knight instead of 80% Sorry, 89% shadow, so I would have expected this to be more like, you know, 100% shadow or something, which it's not like a huge difference, um, but to be honest, I would put in a complaint about that. Uh, it's just that right now there's kind of more important issues with uh, with the gold farming stuff, but I'll get to that at the end, uh, just as a side note. Anyway, so I'm not going to bother showing that. It works exactly the same like as, uh, as the normal skill and all that kind of stuff. Um, so what I'm actually going to show first is the archer one. So the Archer one is for Reign of Arrows. You've got Reign of Horror, it is. And um, the previous best was Reign of Light. And when you compare the two, uh, the damage is slightly more. It's 116% um, of the elemental damage rather than 104. Also, the static damage is slightly more. And um, as an added effect of damage, uh, they also have 10% uh, base damage. That's not... Uh, yeah, that's not elemental. That's just 10% um, hit three or four times. I can't remember the exact number. But um, anyway... Just a tiny bit of extra base damage in there as well, uh, for some reason. Um, and this, strangely, the uh, the animation for it is smaller. Uh, I'm going to show Rain of Ar sorry Rain of Light first. And uh, this has got a huge animation. If it will show it, yeah, hits a huge area, and uh, that's that's the way it works. All of them actually, all of the skull runes and everything, the base skill as well, uh, hit the same area. But Rain of Horror, for some reason, the animation is much smaller. It only hits kind of that. But actually, the hitbox is the same. So ignore the animation. It, it, it does hit the same radius, as far as I can tell. Um, so the, the normal skill here, it hits, uh, it inflicts fear. Which, when turned into a PvP skill, it means it deals a two-second stun. This is pretty cool. And um, it's very useful because you can use it over walls and stuff. People like it for that. Um, so Reign of Horror, uh, instead of inflicting stun, it inflicts silence. Um, which, like I said, is a lesser version of stun. However, um, it's actually uh, more useful than a stun, well, at least because this is the only silent skill. But um, you can use it in conjunction with the stun. So you can use Dark Arrow for the stun, 
and Reign of Horror for the Silence, and you can use the two of them to completely obliterate an opponent. Uh, that's how it seems so far, anyway. So let's uh, now to show this in combat, and this is where the skill room gets really interesting. So um, I'm just going to show Reign of Light first. Watch the melee enemies there. They're, they're the ones which can be feared. Uh, they're going to run at me really quickly. I hit them with Reign of Light. They're going to run away at the same speed, uh, feared for a few seconds, and then come back. Fear is a really bad status effect that just everything's immune to. Um, and Reign of Horror does exactly the same. It fears enemies. However, it says in the small text here, they run away very slowly. Now, that is so good. I will show you now. So they run at me pretty fast. Uh, let's just get them running at me. Now I hit them with Reign of Horror, they're going to run away, look at them, that is super slow, and actually that carries on forever. I don't know why, but it's it's like they're slowed forever. So now, those small enemies are going to be stuck, and in fact, it doesn't even matter if they're immune to fear, they're all going to be moving really slowly. So this adds a whole new dimension to this skill uh, for PvE, in my mind. Uh, it still has the same hitbox, similar-ish damage to Reign of Light, but you can um, lock down melee enemies so they just cannot get near you. Now, you've already got things like a Dark Mist, which you can use to to fear enemies and get them all just to stay away from you. Uh, but like you, can, like you can see here, a lot of enemies are fear immune. And um, so actually, Reign of Horror, um, although it's got that fear element of it, which just doesn't do much, now because it slows these enemies, so they just become pathetically slow constantly, uh, it, I really see a lot of use in that. Um, so this is pretty cool. I like the Archer one a lot. Uh, damage wise, it's, you know, nothing particularly strong just because of the long cooldown on the skill and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's got that silence use in PvP, which means uh, you're going to be needing Dark Arrow as well, which because we're going to get 10 hotkeys, actually, it will be possible to have both of them on while also having the other skills, I believe. So um, yeah, then we'll, I think it will become the usual or people use Dark Arrow as the Sun skill, Reign of Horror as the Silent skill, and then in PvE you've got the use of um, just locking down those uh, those you know melee enemies, keeping them away from you forever. Oh, actually they have stopped. Is that because they died? And those are new ones. I'm not sure. Anyway, basically the slow effect is incredibly good, incredibly useful, and um, I really like that a lot. Um, I, it also makes it a lot better for the reason that um, uh, you want enemies grouped together. You want them away from you, grouped around a decoy or something, and then you can shoot them all at once with your pierce and barbed arrows and all that kind of stuff. So um, the fact that they, they don't really separate uh, very quickly with Reign of Horror is much better in general. Uh, so let's move on to the Night Skurin now. The Night Skurin is for the skill Frenzy, which is generally considered a, a lesser skill um, on the damage front and that kind of thing, but with skill points going to 99, it does increase the attack rate from 60% to 120, uh, sorry, 120%, and the cooldown comes down from 45 to 30, so it becomes much more viable. Um, however, obviously, this is 99 skill points, and there are better skills as well, so you're probably not going to be using this um, at its full potential. Anyway, uh, Inquisitor was the original best skill rune on this class, and it's nice to see that they've kept the 3% move speed. Uh, in the bonus, so you're not going to have any move speed, uh, you know, loss of move speed by using this new skill rune. Again, it does the silence effect. Ah, oh, we're getting attacked by enemies. How the hell did that happen? Anyway, um, so it's got the silence effect. Both of these, they do on the third, every third hit, um, it triggers the damage, and in the case of Inquisitor, you also get the heal. The damage on the Shadow skill rune, the new one, uh, is much higher. Uh, that 23% rather than the 11% is going to help out a lot. Although actually, the static damage is really where you get the majority of the damage here. So, um, in terms of damage, it's basically a slightly more powerful Shadow version of Inquisitor, but without the heal. And, in my opinion, it's a lot worse in that front. Um, however, actually, if you try and work out the damage of this, so you get 60% um, extra attack rate for 10 seconds, the cooldown is long, which kind of really devalues this but uh, for those 10 seconds say you're you're going to be triggering this more than once every second and uh, the fact it's dealing uh, I mean my damage right now it's like close to 40,000 so that's the static damage is about 50% plus then the 23% call it about 70% but 
you're going to be triggering that more than once per second. So over the 10 seconds, you're going to be dealing at least 700% shadow damage. Which, if you have any shadow bonus, and you know, you're fighting light enemies, that actually comes out as a lot of damage. So it's definitely a skill which you can you can use and then swap out, or when we get 10 hotkeys, you can have this as an extra damage option against light enemies. Um, so it definitely has some use there. Uh, but in general, I would say the heal from Inquisitor is just, it's just really good, and um, ultimately better. So I'll show you the heal from Inquisitor here. It's not going to be doing much damage, but um, if I am attacking here, oh, okay, it doesn't help if I get like one shot. But um, yeah, I'll, I'll give this another go. Um, the heal from Inquisitor, it's about... Uh, what is it? Oh! Of course, I have to disconnect while I'm recording. Um, so, I can't remember what I was saying now. But um, basically, the heal... Oh yeah, that was it. The heal is about towards 10%, probably a bit lower. And um, if you use some kind of protection... So right now, I'm using Protector at 99.99. So I'm taking a quarter damage, but you can see the healing from Inquisitor is actually kind of keeping me alive. So as long as you've got protection on, the heal from Inquisitor is actually strong enough to, to keep your health topped up. And that's really what makes it strong. The only problem is that the duration is short considering the really long cooldown. So actually, it's only any uh, it's only viable in PvE if you have got the skill points maxed at 99 for that shorter cooldown at 30, uh, 30 seconds. Um, but anyway, the the new screw, and I will show it just because uh, I've got to show it. So, um, uh, in terms of damage, I think my basic attacks right now I have fifty six percent shadow damage, uh, boosted shadow damage, and then my basic attacks are doing about two hundred thousand or a bit under, and each hit it does is about four hundred four hundred thousand. So, um, yeah, I'll just use angelic form so I can um, so I can just pull off some attacks. And uh, not get knocked back and all that kind of stuff. So you can see the shadow damage comes up quite regularly, uh, more than once per second, and um, does some decent damage uh, when it crits at least. So yeah, that's the skill rune, and um, it's fairly good for damage output. Uh, better than Inquisitor, definitely got some use um, when fighting against light enemies, especially. Um, but ultimately, the skill isn't that strong, and um, I do prefer Inquisitor for the healing effect. Uh, that's how it is in PvE. However, in PvP, it has the silence status effect, which, as I mentioned previously on the other skill runes, uh, that's really going to be uh, going to be very useful um, when uh, when also combining it with a stun skill. So you've got maim is like a kind of very standard stun skill that um, is a uh, uh, yeah two seconds stun, and then you can follow that up. Oh, sorry, follow that up with um, the silence. Uh, from Thrill of the Hunt. So the enemy just gets locked down, they can't do anything, and uh, yeah, it's brilliant. So that's its uses. Um, it's got a couple of uses. And uh, yeah, the Knight one, uh, the Archer one I definitely like most of all. The Knight one's good, and then uh, the Wizard one just has that PvP use, really, uh, compared to the previous school rune. I wish it had some more damage. Uh, it definitely it, it wouldn't, <laughs> wouldn't hurt having some more damage on it. But um, yeah, that's the way things are. I hope you enjoy the video. Um, what I'm now going to quickly talk about is the gold, uh, gold, gold farming, gold farming changes which they've got on right now. So they've um, they've changed it so basically we can do up to 100 runs of Adamar's Gold Sanctum, but in story maps you can't uh, you can't get gold really. It's just like one tenth of what it was before. So um, it's quite a significant change, and currently it's only during this festival. But um, I think ultimately they will make changes to make it more like this. They'll just probably do some tweaks in the final uh, when it actually properly comes in. Uh, this is kind of just a test period, a trial period. Um, so I've made a thread explaining all of that, which I've also shared on um, on my Facebook page, uh, if you're watching this video through that link. And um, if you are confused by it or you're very negative about the changes, go have a read of that and uh, leave some feedback for me and stuff. I um, They actually came to me uh, Rumble, that is. Rumble came to me and asked for my feedback. Uh, they want to know how this is as a player and what I think of it. And um, if you can give any uh, any constructive feedback to me about how you think it be could be improved as a as a system for players, then um, do leave comments on there and stuff. Talk to me. I'd like to hear them because I'd really like to make sure that what we end up with is something that's um, a lot better for for the players and um, yeah, ultimately works really nicely. So um, that's 
to that's good to go do videos to look forward to i hope you enjoy this video uh, thanks very much for watching and i will see you in the next one